The Roo Sport Power Pocket. The original Roo Sport was the world's first magnetic runner's pocket. It safely stored an infinite combination of essentials with a simple slip, click, and go installation. Those of you who remember our past Kickstarters will recall that we added an extra zipper and enlarged the original design for more room to store your needs and to accommodate larger phones. We rolled out several new color options beyond the original orange and added extra water resistance. Many of our Roosport friends use the built-in phone jack to listen to music on the go. But as we all soon discover, phone batteries die and recharging options are limited, but not anymore. Because now, the Roosport Power Pocket has a thin battery bank you can charge over and over, specifically designed for the Roosport so you can avoid getting stranded without power. We're also upgrading to the longest lasting zipper in the world and even better water resistant fabric, all made in the USA. We also have this super popular theme park edition available for backers of this campaign. So what are you waiting for? Pre-order your Roosport Power Pocket today. Let's unlock a new chapter in on-the-go pockets. Help us bring the Roosport Power Pocket to life. We started Project Cover almost two years ago. With combining our different fields of work, we've made it our mission to give the individual back its control to determine when, with what and if someone wants to be traceable. We've come up with the Anti-Surveillance Code. The Anti-Surveillance Code protects you and your privacy against the threats of our information-driven environment. This unisex code makes use of metal ferrous fabrics that shields the computer chips in your cards, clothing and car keys, even making your phone untraceable. It blocks every in and outgoing signal, keeping you and your personal data safe from radio waves and radiation. We believe in people regaining control over their privacy and data, so when preferred, the black pockets allow you to still be reachable with your device of choice. In addition to the anti-surveillance code, the design comes with a special sleeve that provides your cards and phone an extra few layers of protection. The sleeve can be hung inside the code. At Telefication in Zevenaar, we got the chance to actually test our prototypes. This amazing chance resulted in a day full of excitement, as it turned out that the anti-surveillance code blocked all of the most convenient forms of radio waves. Hey Kickstarter, I'm Jana. I'm here to tell you about Safari Seat. Safari Seat is a low-cost, all-terrain wheelchair designed for people in developing countries. It's open source, which means anyone will be able to build it. Where sand replaces pavement, Safari Seat allows people with disabilities to lead independent lives. This is Letu. He's a member of the Samburu tribe. He lives a traditional lifestyle with his family in Kenya. I was a child when I first met Letu, but it wasn't until years later that I truly began to understand his situation. While I was studying design at university, an accident left me wheelchair bound for three months. My independence disappeared. Frustrated by immobility, I reflected on Letu and his daily struggle to fulfill life's most basic needs. I wanted to help. In East Africa alone, one in 200 people lives in need of a wheelchair, imprisoned by their disability. So I returned to Kenya, the country where I grew up, to develop Safari Seat. Over the last two years, I've assembled a small team of designers. We've been working in collaboration with local workshops, and we are determined to make a difference. We realize that to fully understand a problem, you have to immerse yourself in it. 
We've spent months living with Letu and others with disabilities. At first, simply getting to know them, observing the hurdles they face, and later, using their feedback to hone and modify the design. Safari seat can be manufactured in basic local workshops using bike parts. This makes it low cost and easy to maintain. Safari seat climbs over rough ground like no other wheelchair. It uses a simple patented mechanism which mimics car suspension, ensuring all wheels remain on the ground for maximum stability. This campaign isn't just about Safari seat. It's about helping communities to help themselves. We plan to make the blueprints absolutely free as part of an open source toolkit that will enable workshops to make safari seats for their community, both helping people with disabilities and generating local, sustainable employment. Mobility isn't just about movement. For Letu, mobility means that he can finally teach his son how to be a Samburu. Join us on this journey and help people like Letu discover independence. What do you get when you combine this guy this extremely sharp object, and this inflated bag? Let's ask him, what's the story, Daryl? About five or six years ago, I had a, a leaf problem, if you could say, in my backyard. Uh, we were in Atlanta, Georgia, and we had about uh, seven or eight huge oak trees that every fall just dumped a load of leaves in the yard. And you could rake it one week, and the next week it was just as bad as it was the week before. I was up almost to my waist in leaves and uh, I had a choice, do I uh, bag them like my neighbors did or, or do I burn them? My wife and I went up to uh, Ashburn, Virginia where we had some grandchildren and uh, I was watching a National Geographic with them and uh, in the course of the uh, video a huge whale shark came towards the camera and the whale opened its mouth, took in some fish swallowed and then the water came out its gills and I said there's the solution to my problem. That uh, whale shark looked like a plastic bag coming towards the camera. If I could take that plastic bag, cut gills into it like that shark, allow myself to vacuum leaves into that bag, letting the air go through and filling the bag with the mulched leaves, I don't have to pick up leaves, I don't have to bag the leaves, and I could save myself time and money. So when it comes to getting rid of leaves, there's usually about three options. One, you could bag them by hand and compact them as you go. Second, you could use a fancy zipper bag, but you have to repeatedly empty and reinstall them. And third is checking YouTube. But don't waste your time. The options are just as tedious and will take all day. My husband's invention is the best. We call it the air gill bag. It's a disposable bag with specially placed gills. After you attach it to your leaf vacuum, with our special double secure system, the bag stays inflated so the leaves are compacted as they go in. I can collect 15 times the leaves with these bags and because of the airflow, the bag doesn't even feel heavy. Was the bag heavy? No, it feels like it's floating. Your kitchen is the heart of your home. For many, cooking is an enjoyable part of the day in which you can be creative and provide the centerpiece for gathering with friends and family. It can be one of the most enjoyable and expressive rooms in your home. It's also the deadliest. Cooking-related fires are accountable for 45% of all reported home fires, and ranges directly account for 61% of reported home structure fires. More than half of non-fatal cooking fire injuries occur when victims try to fight a grease fire themselves. 
Nationally, fire departments respond to an estimated average of over 160,000 home structure fires involving cooking each year. Cooking fires cause an annual average of 430 civilian deaths, over 5,000 civilian injury and dollars in direct property damage annually. Don't be a home fire statistic. There is an answer to electric range top fire home protection. Trust the Ranger and purchase your Stove Ranger today. The Stove Ranger, www.thestoveranger.com.